2020. Let's kick this video off just right. I have my notes, I have my coffee, and yes. If y'all hear anything in the background, sorry, don't pay it no mind. Let's go ahead and jump up into this video. Y'all, I pulled out some new brushes that I have been wanting to test out. So that's what I was showing you guys in the beginning as well as like an overview of the products that I will be using in this tutorial. So as you can tell, I won't be naming any of the brushes because they are here in the video. If y'all wondering what brushes I'm using, but you guys, I am actually trying a smoky eye. And you guys know I hate a smoky eye. But I seen Ashley Devana here on YouTube do this New Year's look. So I was like, girl, I have to try it. So this is a trial and error. Y'all let me know how I did down below in the comments. And I would love to hear y'all feedback. So basically, as you guys been watching, I did use my Tarte Tardius paint to coat my eyes and I wanted to keep it right there in the center. Now I'm here using the Mayo Makeup Pigment in the shade Black just to set that um, paint down. And I'm using a blending brush to blend out the edges and you guys, smoky eyes is hard AF. like. I can't believe I even tried it, but I can't believe how well it turned out as well. All of the products down below, um, I'm sorry, all of the products that I will be using in this video is linked down below, just in case if I miss telling you guys what it is. Y'all got this Crown Pro palette in a boxy charm like maybe a year ago, and I just don't use it. So I felt the need to try to use it even though I only used one shade. And I'm dipping into the Morphe 3502 palette and I use these shades Wiz and what is the shade called? Wiz and something girl. All of the names and stuff will be down below because y'all even though I got the cheat sheet, I wrote it down in the order that I used it in, y'all. It is all over the place. You hear me? It is all over the place. But the I couldn't show you the Morphe palette because Wiz is all broken up. So, using this dazzling creation glitter off of Instagram, y'all, that chunky black glitter is so intimidating but so beautiful. I go in first with the AOA Studio Glitter, and that one's called um, Black Diamond. It's a finely milled glitter, as you can tell. It's very finely milled, and it's very sparkly. And then I go on top of with the Dazzling Creations Glitter, which has no name, but they are from Instagram. It's more of a chunky glitter, and I wanted to spread it out so that it gives like those, the disco ball, shimmer specs to it so I didn't want to pile it all up because I made that mistake once before with piling up chunky glitter and girl did not look cute but it's looking very pretty right now so I had to go to this eye and make this eye look a little bit better because the eye I did on camera was looking way more popping than that other eye so I'm trying to fix it like I told you guys, this is trial and error, but wait till you see the end. It came out so freaking pretty, you guys. It was so pretty. I love it. Y'all go show the picture some love on Instagram. Go ahead and share it to your stories and stuff for your girl. <laughs> but this is how the eye is looking. I did go off camera and fix it a little bit more. And I'm dipping off into that Origins Matte Moisturizer that I got in a gift set from Sephora. I've been trying to use some of my gift sets that I've been getting from Sephora and them because they just sit in my drawers. And everything that I'm using, y'all, is actually in my my shop, my stash, everyday makeup drawer for this month that y'all would y'all would be seeing that video next. So all of the products that I'm using come from there, and most of the products that I use is affordable, girl, to make this look. So I did go in with the. Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, the 
Matte and Pour. Matte and Pourless. And this one is in Coconut. I did do a light layer because the eyes were standing out so much. I didn't want to go overboard. But I did go off camera and give it one more layer. Just to give it a little bit more coverage. And now I'm going to go in with a nice a nice concealer from Collab. Um, you can find them at Sally's Beauty Supply um, Collab Makeup in the shade Mocha. It's a great concealer. It's a flawless concealer is what it's called. But it's a great concealer for an everyday conceal, but not too bright and not too highlighted. But it covers really good. And this is a part of my project pan. That's why y'all gonna see me like scraping the bottom because I am running out and... I'm just trying to use all of my products up. Y'all gonna see all of the details when y'all watch my um, this month's makeup stash. I put a lot of Project Pan products in there. And I will be doing a Project Pan video showing you guys what all of the products that I'm gonna be trying to Project Pan for this year. But that's what I'm using is the Collab Concealer. And we're going to skip right over blending it out because y'all seen me do it plenty of times. I'm going in with the Revlon Photo Candid Ready. I think I'm saying it right. Loose powder in 002. And you guys, this setting powder is amazing. I picked up 001 and 002, but this is my first time using 002. And you guys, I'm about ready to throw out the 001 y'all 002 by Revlon photo candid is the bomb it is the bomb I thought it was gonna be a little powdery and patchy and white casty no ma'am look at that girl I'm giving a stamp of approval so I did go in with my black radiance press powder that one is in bronze glow and I'm using this brush from the professionals kit that I showed you guys in the beginning I found them at Walmart and the eight piece professional premium kit was eight dollars so I wanted to test these brushes out they all are synthetic brushes but they are pretty soft and they are pretty well made and they are not that bad and they're so pretty I, I can't forget that part they're very pretty but they're not bad. I just wanted you guys to see how that synthetic powder brush was working for me. <laughs> so, y'all, here we go with the CoverGirl Spectrum Ebony Bronzer. Um, y'all finally ripped the paper off of that and put it into use. And I am using that. I think they are called Best Top fan brush that I found on Amazon I am gonna link it in my Amazon store down below in the hot box for you guys to go check out they are really good brushes one did come broken but I am gonna fix it but these this brush set is really freaking good and y'all should go and buy it I'm gonna have it linked in my Amazon store so y'all can go cop them but they are really freaking good and this spectrum ebony bronzer baby look at that it reminds me of the cover girl queen ebony baby oh it's just a tad bit less shimmery than the queen that queen cover than the spectrum but the spectrum is so freaking pretty too i think i'm gonna just like constantly use that from now on but no i gotta finish the cover girl queen ebony first so i am using this do care highlighter brush and my morphe um, Mark Sparks highlighter and the Duke Care highlighter brush is the dupe for the Anastasia highlighter brush. I will have that link down below in my Amazon store too because that brush I have three of them. When I tell y'all I love that brush, I love that brush. And thank you to Juicy Jazz here on YouTube for keeping it in her videos and finally making me go buy it because I only got three more because I love that Duke Care brush. I'm highlighting it up, y'all. Look at how I'm looking. I am using a NYX lip liner. I think this one is in. I don't know the name, but it would be down below in the hot box. <laughs> I 
just wanted to show you guys how I'm lining my lips. Don't pay no attention to my tongue, girl. My tongue does its own thing when I'm doing my makeup, okay? But I am going to line my lips really good with this NYX lip liner. And I overdrew my lips just a tad bit because I am going to go in with the NYX um, lip lingerie. I think I'm going to Baby Doll. Yes, and Baby Doll. Oh, and the lip liner is called Chocolate, and it's not NYX. It is LA Colors Lip Liner in Chocolate. I told y'all I had my notes sitting right here in front of me, but girl, it's all over the place that I can't even, I can't keep up with myself, baby. I can't keep up with myself. But the NYX Lip Lingerie, you guys, I love the baby doll color, and I love the way I ombre it and blended it out, but I need to go pick up another one because I think this one is starting to dry up on me and I hate it. I hate that it's trying to dry up on me. It is really, really a good shade, but I have to go pick up another one and I have to throw this one out because like I said, it's trying to dry up on me, but it did blend out really cute and it gave me that nice ombre Kim K type of lip that I was going for. I didn't want nothing too boom bam and you guys could throw a gloss on this i didn't throw a gloss on it because y'all know i'm a matte girl but it wasn't too boom bam and it was real soft and subtle and you know it came out real cute look at that now them lashes i forgot what lashes they are so i'll have them linked down below but look how your girl's looking she looking busted and disgusted but hold on taylor made what i had to get my taylor made jane on girl and give y'all the quick glow up for New Year's, baby. And are y'all enjoying my background? Your girl went all out this year for y'all. Remind y'all to check out the backgrounds every time I upload a video because they're going to be switching it up all the time. But thank y'all so much for watching. Let me know how y'all feel down below in the comments. Let me know what y'all doing for New Year's or what's y'all New Year's resolution. You know, what y'all think y'all changing up for the new year. 2020, baby. 2020. We coming for you. Make sure to go like this picture on my Instagram. And in the words of my loyal subscriber, keep shining. And I love y'all. See y'all in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click the notification bell. And check out this end screen real quick. Check it out. Ow. Y'all see all my social media handles. Go follow your girl and catch me in the next one. I love you guys. Let's take off for 2020. Bye.